Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Stuff I Never Knew Trivia Game Show Podcast. I'm Jeff. I'm your host. We are on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. I've got three great guests, Charlie, Victor, Brian. Let's hear that theme song. You are correct, and we are going right into round one. And in round one, we're going to play a fun game called Try Bonds. I'm going to give you three words. You have to tell me what ties those three words together. So, for example, if I were to say elephant, car, and tree, those three things all have a trunk. 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 That's right. Very good. <laughs> so, Charlie, your first one. Duck, cranberry, and soy. Duck, cranberry, and soy. Uh, <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> no, I put three seconds. Duck, cranberry, and soy. Uh, I have no idea. They are types of sauces. Uh -huh. Sauces. Over to Victor. They sure are. Head, goat, cheddar. All types of cheese. Types of cheese is <laughs> correct. Correct. <laughs> and to Brian, moth, moth, meat, medicine. Balls. Balls are correct. <laughs> types of balls. Back to Charlie. Oh, boy. <laughs> Galagaskins, clam diggers, dungarees. Uh, pants. Types of pants is correct. And back to Victor. Elmer's glue, <laughs> Merrill Lynch, Schlitz beer. What do Elmer's those glue. three have in common? Man. Come on, give me the easy ones. <laughs> Elmer's glue. <laughs> no idea what it could have in common. All things for children. No. Okay. No, no. Merrill Lynch is no. <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> yeah, the Merrill Lynch one's not for kids. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not for kids. <laughs> the beard. Is. Everything else, yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> they are all using bulls as their mascot or logo. Oh, yeah. All right, back to Brian. A falcon, a mule, a goat. A falcon, a mule, a goat. What ties those three together? Just that they're animals? Uh, if that can be that simple. It's not that simple. Yeah. <laughs> falcon. They are all oh, mascots of the armed forces. Armed forces. And our last one in this round, back to Charlie. Yellow, Scarlet, Cabin. What ties together Yellow, Scarlet, and Cabin? Um, Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind, not bad. They are... Types uh, of fevers, types of fevers. Back to Victor. Night fever. How deep is your love? Staying alive. They're all BG songs? BG songs is correct. Yes. <laughs> I'm from <And> Miami. <laughs> the last one to Brian. The books, the hay, the road. What ties the books, the hay, the road together? Hit? I don't know. Yeah, that is correct. The They're all things exactly. you hit. That is correct. <laughs> correct. Let's go to that scoreboard. Round one, very close. Victor Bryan tied at two. Charlie with one. Charlie, you get a little bonus. You get to pick the order for round two. You can mix it up or keep it the same. Well, I'll go last this time. <laughs> uh, so we'll go Victor, Brian, Charlie. That works. All right. We're going to put Victor into the hot seat. Victor, welcome to the show. I'm glad to be here, Jeff. Where are you Thanks calling in from, me. Victor? 
I am calling from sunny Miami, Florida. Oh, very nice, very nice. And what goes on in sunny uh, California or <laughs> Miami, or Miami, whatever Florida. is going on south of the border? <laughs> Well, I'm a real estate agent in Miami and I have a daughter on the autism spectrum. So I wrote a book called The Autism and Special Needs Family Relocation Blueprint to help people move with autistic or special needs kids down to Miami or Florida. Very nice. And uh, is there yeah. a way, uh, how, can we, how can we find this book? Is it on Amazon? Can we get it directly from you? You can find me at my website, miamiautismdad.com. Very good. We'll put all that in the show notes. Victor, cool. are you ready born ready for the hot seat let's do it <laughs> all right in this round each of my guests are gonna get one question from each of these three categories products print and people and then a name five bonus question and a name five bonus question is something like name five spices in your spice cabinet i'll put f uh 10 seconds on the clock and you have to give me five things victor your products question what classic board game is known as the game that ties you up in knots? Oh, goodness, it's the game with the stuff on the floor, and I don't know <laughs> what the heck that is called. I know what it looks like. Uh, uh, what is that game called? Can I describe it? Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> it's got the dots and the uh, thing. And a timer, and uh, I, and man, I don't know. Helen I, mean, I know the game. I a lot yeah. on the big screen. Yeah, there you go. Oh, she does. Is that like a clue? Three, two, one. <laughs> it is Twister. 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 Yeah. I think it was Helen Hunt. And our, our print question. What children's book begins with, this is George, he lived in Africa? George of the Jungle? George of the Jungle. Incorrect. Curious George. Curious George, Curious. all right. And here's a Miami question for you, or at least near Miami. What number one draft pick by the Orlando Magic wore size 23 shoes? By the Orlando Magic. Shaquille. Shaquille O'Neal is correct. And our name five bonus question. I'll put 10 seconds on the clock. Name five of Santa's reindeer and go. Rudolph. Vixen. I don't know. I got two. Two is correct. <laughs> I'm losing my voice already. It's too early in the show. We got some points for you. We'll get those on the scoreboard. We're moving Brian to the hot seat. Brian, welcome to the show. Hey, it's great to be here. Uh, tell us where you're calling in from and what you're about to pick up. I am in uh, sunny Southern California, and I am in the parking lot and uh, going to get some El Pollo Loco. Very nice. And what's what's the number one item on the menu? Uh, I think I'm getting the, I'm actually not getting chicken. It's a salad, but it has like beef in it. So we'll, we'll see. So solid beef. So yeah. uh, tell us about what you do out in California and uh, anything you want to plug, promote, talk about. Yeah, so I'm the creative director at uh, Toyota dealership up in, uh, well, it's in Victorville, so it's on your way to Vegas. And uh, just follow me on LinkedIn. You go, we got some crazy videos if you ever want to take a look at our commercials and uh, we do some interesting things there. Yeah, if you want to be entertained, definitely follow Brian. Great videos, great commercials. Uh, I'll plug it for you. It's Valley High Toyota. Uh, you know, check them out, but also check out Brian Ortega or Brian J Ortega.com. Is that correct? Yes. Brian J Ortega.com. Brian J Ortega.com. You can see all the videos he creates. Brian, are you ready for the hot seat? <laughs> ready as I'll ever be. All right. Products, print and people, your products question. What tire company opened its first factory in 1898 in Akron, Ohio? Or Akron? On uh, Bridgestone? Bridgestone. Incorrect. Good year. Good year. Ah. <laughs> and your print question. What American painter is best known for his cover illustrations for the Saturday Evening Post magazine? Uh, Norman Rockwell. Rockwell is correct. Correct. 
And All your right. people question, what leader known for his nonviolent civil disobedience once said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world? MLK Jr.? MLK Jr. is incorrect. It is Gandhi. Oh, God dang it. All right, you're about to get some food, maybe some toppings. This question could be made for you. Name five <laughs> varieties of cheese and go. Uh, Swiss, Gouda, um, Pepper Jack, uh, ah, Brie, and American. At the buzzer, five for five. Well played, Brian, from the parking lot, waiting for your food. <laughs> Let's bring in Charlie. Charlie, welcome to the show. How are you? Great about yourself. Where are you calling in from? Uh, I'm in Texas. Texas. So we, got, we ran straight across the south today. We got Florida, <laughs> Texas, California. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do out in Texas. Uh, well, right now I'm working on building this podcast. Actually, I'm working on building a production company, starting with a podcast. Um www.conjuringoddities.com if anyone wants to check that out and what kind of oddities are you conjuring so we're uh it, right now it's mostly horror narration uh we're going to be having guests on soon though awesome conjuringoddities.com i'll have all of my guests links in the show notes are you charlie ready for the hot seat yes all right your products question what shoes did Michael Jordan introduce in 1985? The specific or Nike or Air Jordans? Which uh... Well, if you say Air Jordans, I'll accept it. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> and your print question. Originally published as a sixth volume serial novel, who wrote The Green Mile? Um, Stephen King. Stephen King is correct two for two and your third one who originally played captain kirk on star trek this is your people question uh oh i know why well, can't i remember his name <laughs> um oh god why can't i remember his name maybe if you do an impression of a because you, know, you know how he sounds <laughs> you know, he says spock <laughs> I can't remember. That's we straight. must. I go cannot remember his faster. name. Faster. <laughs> wow. Uh, we're looking for old <sighs> William Shatner. William Shatner. All right. Here's a place to get five bonus points. I'll put 10 seconds on the clock. Name five different types of coffee beverages and go. Uh, different types. Uh, macchiato, uh, Cuban, espresso. Um, uh, oh, oh, I got three for you. Not too bad. Let's go to that scoreboard and see how we're heading into the final round. We've got a very close game. Just a few points separating first to third. We have Brian in the lead with eight. He's fist bumping over there uh, <laughs> in the parking lot. And, and we're going to go over to round three. Let's bring it to round three. All right. In this round, I've asked each of my guests to bring their own buzzers. If they don't have a buzzer, they may just say their own name. Uh, we'll test those in just a second. And in this round, it's a video round. I'm going to play you a video, and it's going to give you three clues. You can buzz in at any time you think you know it. And the questions are going to be something like, who am I? What am I? Where am I? And when you see the first clue, you can buzz in. And if you get it right, you'll get yourself three points. The second clue is worth two points. And the last clue is worth one point. If you get it right, you'll earn the points. If you get it wrong, you're going to lose the points. And let's hear what each person's buzzer sounds like. Victor, let's hear your buzzer. He's dinging the glass. Charlie. <laughs> He's got the buzzer, and then Brian is looking frantically through his car, or he could just say his name. You can just say Brian as your buzzer. All right, here we yeah. go. Our first question tonight, 
what song am I? And you get a bonus point for singing. So you can get double points if you sing and honk your horn, Brian. Shoddy had them apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. If you think you know the name of the song, buzz in. Ah, I know the song. Are you buzzing in? The whole club was looking at her. She hit the floor. She hit the floor. And our third clue for one point. Next thing you know, Shotty got. Shotty. Blow, 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 blow. Yeah. Are you buzzing in? Uh, yeah, are you buzzing, yeah, yeah. In? Okay. Are you buzzing in? No, no. Yeah. Brian, Brian. Uh, <laughs> Brian. He got right, the buzz. Brian, what, <laughs> What was your answer, Brian? Shorty got low, 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 low. Low, low, low for one point is doubled because you sang it is correct. Flow rider. Flow, flow, flow rider. rider. You're All right, Florida, bro. Second. You should have got that one. <laughs> yeah, I our know, second. and I've actually seen that guy on the street. <laughs> what Jeez. am I? I typically get stronger as I age. I typically, that is victory. Trees. <laughs> Trees. Trees are incorrect. Incorrect. That's a tree, man. <laughs> Sometimes the pictures don't match the clue. <laughs> Our second clue, I think we lost Brian. Our second clue for two points I am the single most widely used material, material. on the planet. Victor. Plastic. Plastic is oh. incorrect. <laughs> and our third clue for one point, Thomas Edison had 50 patents related to me and made furniture and houses out of me. Charlie. Wood. <laughs> wood is incorrect. <laughs> We're looking for cement or concrete. <laughs> Don't always trust my images here. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Our second clue for two points. Where am I? I am looking for a where. My motto is from sea to sea. From sea to sea. Victor. The United States. United States is. How can that be wrong? <laughs> that would have been my sea. guess too. That's from yeah. Sea to Shining Sea. Yeah, I know. I yeah, I know that. But who? What is the right answer? By the way, <laughs> we'll get there. We have two more clues. We got <laughs> our second clue for two points. My national animal is the beaver. Beaver. The beaver. If Brian can hear us, he can nod. He's back again. He's nodding. I, our third I can hear clue, you. Our third clue. I have more lakes than the rest of the world combined. Brian. Brian. Minnesota. Minnesota is incorrect. Uh, That'll cost you one point. Oh, really? Um, Those Minnesota beavers. The answer is well, our neighbors Canada. to the north. Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. Canada. All right. Our third, fourth question tonight. Who am I? I'm looking for a who. This is one I think we can run away with. I could write with one hand and draw with the other at the same time. What is Brian? Brian. Ambidextrous? Amber Dextrix looking for a specific who. Oh, oh, that, dang that it. is incorrect. <laughs> That'll cost you three points. Yeah, he Our... lives. He lives over there. Amber Dextrix. Three Jones. points. <laughs> he lives on the corner of Main and Ninety Seven. Yeah. I was criticized for being a procrastinator. It took me ten years to paint a single pair of lips. Third yeah, I'm gonna guess at this one. All right, Victor. Michelangelo. Michelangelo is incorrect, uh, but you're in the right ballpark. 
And our third clue for one point, my most famous piece of art is worth an estimated one billion. Victor. The Mona Lisa. That picture's right, finally. <laughs> We're looking for a who. Oh, Michael. Oh, can you guess? <laughs> Michelangelo. <laughs> Michelangelo. Michelangelo. <laughs> no? No, you, you guess Michelangelo. <laughs> Charlie. Da Vinci. Da Vinci is oh, correct. Oh, you can keep guessing? You can buzz in multiple times, yes. Oh, man. Were, were you ready to? All right, here we go. Let's get back on track. What science fiction character am I? I have appeared on screen with Bambi. Looking for a science fiction character. Our second clue for two points, I am an irradiated prehistoric sea creature. Brian. Brian. Godzilla. Oh no, there goes Tokyo. Go, go, Godzilla is correct. Godzilla is correct. All right, our sixth one tonight. I'm looking for a president. Which president am I? I was blinded in one eye while boxing during my presidency. Victor. This one I know, Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> wow, swinging for the fences, Teddy Roosevelt is correct. Nice work, Victor. All right, another what? I'm looking for a what? What am I? Looks like some sort of sport. Over half a dozen spectators have been killed watching me. Over half a dozen. Our second clue for two points. Earbuds are a popular accessory during me. Hands on the buzzer for our last one. My winner gets a large bottle of milk. Brian. Brian. Is, is that na uh, Well, is it specific NASCAR? I don't know. It's a specific NASCAR race. Uh, the Indy 500. Indy 500 is correct for one point. Well played. Three questions remaining. What am I? I'm looking for another what. I am called the forgotten fiber because I was phased out when cotton became popular. Victor. Hemp. Hemp for three points is Damn. correct. Damn. Correct. <laughs> Two points remaining. All right. What am I? I'm looking for a what? I am used to look for something that people say will one day destroy the earth. <laughs> Victor. Canary. Canary is incorrect incorrect I was winning until then destroying the canaries I cost over 13 billion and have little to show for that investment I cost 13 billion I may destroy the earth and I am near Geneva Switzerland Brian Brian CERN CERN or the large Hadr Hadron Collider is correct correct for one point thank you and our last question tonight what am I what am I I was buried with King Tut I was buried with King Tut I am a what what am I I don't want to lose my points. Charlie. Cat. Cat is incorrect. The varieties of me have names like Carolina Cross, Moon and Stars, and Golden Midget. Oops. 
Our last clue for one point. I was used as a canteen by early explorers of North America. Sometimes my pictures give you the answer. It is <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> Not always. I, Let's go to the. I didn't know that. Ryan. That one time. Oh, Ryan, no. with the least amount of damage in the third round, pulls away with the victory, and he's pulling out of the Mexican restaurant with a, a car full of burritos. He's yeah, the big winner, go. man. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. The back. feast will commence. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back and say hi and goodbye to my guest one last time. Charlie, uh, give yourself a one minute hey. plug, promote, talk about whatever you want. The floor is yours. Uh, uh, www.conjuringoddities.com. Make sure you put the www in front of it, otherwise, you'll wind up at a weird site. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't go there. Go there. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. But and, yeah, that, that's okay. the main thing. <laughs> and to Victor. I'm Victor from Miami. I've got an autism related book coming out called the Autism and Special Needs Family Relocation Blueprint. And you can find it out on Amazon or on my website, miamiautismdad.com. Very nice. And our winner tonight who had some connection problems <laughs> who disappeared and then came back for the victory, Brian, the floor is yours. Awesome, man. Well, I just want to thank Jeff for uh, everything that he does. He's, he's a big guy in my life and I appreciate him. Um, as for me, I'm there and uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm at a, if you're looking for a Toyota, let me know. We don't have any right now because they're all sold out. But you can go to BrianJOrtega.com, take a look at our commercials. Um, I love uh, helping people, and if you need anything, just let me know. When let's create content that crushes. <laughs> yeah, you're so good at it that you have no cars left. So congratulations <laughs> to Brian. Let's hear that theme song. We're going to play a game called Tribons, birds or Australian slang words, real or fake flavors of Doritos. Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the Stuff I Never Knew Trivia Game Show, and we are looking for contestants for future episodes. If you'd like to play trivia here on the Armstrong Neighborhood channel, head over to StuffIneverKnew.com, click Be a Player, fill out the short form, and we'll get you on a future episode. Hope to see you in the hot seat. Armstrong has been a part of Southwestern PA since 1966. Zoom Internet was first launched by Armstrong in the Connellsville system. Our Breaking Bread program began fighting hunger in our communities. Enhanced Wi-Fi delivered coverage, security, and control of your network. Zoom Extreme brought one gig internet to the community. And in 2022, Armstrong was named Independent Operator of the Year for the second time. When you support Armstrong, you're supporting your local community.